So you don't think Oklahoma is going to make the college football playoff. You don't think Tennessee is going to make the college football playoff. And you think that Penn State has the same chance to make the college football playoff that Oklahoma does, or more to the point, Oklahoma, who's picked eighth in the SEC, I might add here, has the same chance to make the college football playoff, the 12-team college football playoff, as Penn State. I know you think this because put up a poll on the community tab of the channel to find out what y'all think. Uh, I think that's a fun function. I think it's a fun feature. Uh, we will continue to use it. Um, we got 1.700, I said, say, we got 1,700 people plus to vote on this one where I, we asked the question, which team is most likely to be left out of the 12-team playoff? And I gave you choices. I gave you Michigan. I gave you Tennessee. I gave you Oklahoma. I gave you Penn State. All programs that I thought are more than capable of making the college football playoff but not exactly picked to win the Big Ten Championship, the SEC Championship, right? The two biggest conferences. I think you could pick a fight with me about Michigan if you want to, and and for real, you can go do that. I, I, I think it also shows that most of us don't think that you're one of those teams that's going to be left out because you got 13% of the vote. I think those are Ohio State fans, if I'm being quite honest with it, because I didn't pick Michigan in this one. I thought that looking at Tennessee and their schedule, Tennessee got to come to Oklahoma. Oklahoma got to play Tennessee. Oklahoma got to play Ole Miss. Oklahoma got to play Missouri, LSU, and Alabama. I get it. The schedule is not conducive to just riding in on the coattails of a soft schedule like Missouri to make the college football playoff. However, you win three of those four games, it's going to be really difficult for somebody to deny you played a very tough schedule against really good opponents in your first year of the SEC. I also think that when I'm looking at Tennessee, okay, I could get there because they're going to have a new guy at quarterback, right? Nico Iamaleva. Iamaleva? Iamaleva. There it is. Got it. Nico, I swear, I'm going to get it, dude. It took me two years to get Uyung Lele, but I'm going to get there. You got a new quarterback. And he's great. He's awesome. Uh, I really can't wait to watch him play. I would still think it's going to take a year. I don't think that everybody that starts their first year is, is great their first year. Just ask Joe Milton about beginning his career at, you know, Michigan. Just ask Hendon Hooker about beginning his career at, you know, Virginia Tech. You can keep going down the line on this one. And I, I realize he played well against Iowa State. Uh, Iowa. Not Iowa State. Iowa. In, the, in their bowl game. But I also would caution you that Iowa was one of the better defenses of the last two years like it, like last year it was them it was Penn State it was Ohio State and then you could probably talk about Georgia Michigan right right running out that five but I still think that the gauntlet they got to go through with a new guy at quarterback who is going to depend largely on Squirrel White and Brood McCoy to make plays for him in an entirely new backfield you're just going to have a tougher time getting through your SEC schedule if you don't make the SEC championship game, it's real difficult for us to look at Tennessee and go, is that one of the teams that deserves an at-large bid, especially if Notre Dame manages to do anything at all, right? They get 10-11 wins. It's going to be difficult for people to leave them out as well. Oklahoma's pretty cut and dry. Same thing with Penn State, right? Penn State got to play Michigan this year. Oregon got to play Ohio State and Michigan this year. I think we're also looking for Penn State to take the leap on this one. Right, We're looking for Penn State to show us it's capable of just winning the Big Ten championship because as much as I know that this is going to pain some Big Ten and SEC fans because the same thing applies, just because you win your conference don't mean you're going to win the national championship. Th this year more than ever because there's just more games to be played. It used to be, I say it used to be, we've only had the college football playoff for 10 years. You play two games. You win the national championship in the playoffs, right? That that's it. You make you you win your conference, then you got to play two games, and you're done. Now you got to get the bye, and then we'll see, right? So no matter who you are, you're playing 17 games, right? Like Notre Dame, notwithstanding, you're playing 17 games. We'll see what those games look like, and we'll see what they look like in these brand new leagues. You got 18 teams in the Big Ten, you got 16 teams in the SEC, and then who knows what the ACC might summon or might not be able to summon if we're being honest about this, but I tend to look at continuity at the quarterback, coordinator, and head coach positions in the preseason, right? Like, if those things don't change, I genuinely like you better than somebody who did have those things change. And at Oklahoma, you got a change in coordinator, right? 
I got to change uh, a coordinator at both uh, both spots, by the way, defensive coordinator and offense coordinator. But you return your starting quarterback. Josh Heupel returns his defensive coordinator, and of course he's calling the plays. But you got a new guy at quarterback, so it kind of washes there. I also think you got to take into account what Oklahoma and Tennessee have been to each other in the past, and Oklahoma has had the better of Tennessee, and Oklahoma's had a better run of the last even two years. You're going. It's toss up, right? But if they play each other, maybe you're going to pick Oklahoma, especially if Oklahoma's at home, knowing that Oklahoma went to kneel and gave Tennessee the what for and how now. But I think they're pretty evenly matched. And I don't know that that's going to influence your vote one way or the other, but that's the reason that I framed it this way, right? That's the thing. I know that I start off here kind of sort of poking at you, but that's the point. The point is you're a smart college football fan. I want to hear your smart college football opinion your smart college football take. Because if I gave you an opinion that was Michigan's not going to make the college football playoff, you would be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, dog, what are you, what are you doing right now? Like, didn't we just have this discussion about why Michigan is good and why you're wrong to discount Michigan? Yes, we did. And I'm not, I'm not looking to renege on that, by the way. I do think you got to play Texas. You got to play Oregon. You got to play Ohio State. You got to play Penn State. That's, that's going to be, that's going to be tough. That's, 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 gonna, that's just, it's just going to be tough. Maybe you're you're good enough to do it, to run it back, to go on a tear like Georgia went on a tear, and this might be the beginning of that. But that was kind of the red herring in here. The three teams that I really want you to consider were Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Penn State because I think they're right now all on the same plane. And I don't know that we've been able to say that in the college football playoff era ever. And at this time when we're going to have new, we're going to have some first, and we're going to have people that are finding out for the first time just how hard it is or easy to get through their schedule, what are you going to lean on, right? What do you know about James Franklin that leads you to believe that they're going to make the playoff? And what do you know about Brent Venables that leads you to believe they're going to make the playoff? What do you know about Josh Heupel that leads you to believe that they're going to make the playoff? This is how I want you to think about this from here on out. Also, since you're still here at the end, it is my birthday. Um... So please, if you feel inclined, uh, subscribe to the channel. That will be your birthday gift to me.